Hey everybody, Happy New Year 2023. Welcome to the AI Guide where we're making AI human. What does that mean? That means we focus on the human impact of AI and affiliated exponential technologies. And we have a topic right on point with that today, exactly on point. Be sure to click those links below. The two links are first, my book on Amazon, The Beginner's Guide to AI, A Short History of AI, and Current Impact on 10 Different Industries. The second link is free resources that will teach you much more about AI than we can teach you in these short videos. And you want to be prepared. And today's video will highlight that beautifully. So uh, just a day or two before Christmas, I was watching something on YouTube and it made me curious. When was the telephone exactly invented? And the article I came across was really unbelievable because it perfectly, it was the best example I've ever seen of exactly what an exponential technology is. So first of all, Check this out, which I talked about in a very recent short. As with many innovations, the idea for the telephone came along far sooner than it was brought to reality. So what does that mean? That means that technologies are around for a while before they actually take off commercially. And we talked about that in a very recent short. Well, it turns out that the phone was first invented in 1849 by an Italian guy named Antonio Meucci, or Meucci. Um, and then in a French guy named Charles Boursault devised a working phone in 1854. But it was Alexander Graham Bell who won the first U.S. patent for a phone in 1876. So first of all, this was not very long after the end of the Civil War here in the United States. Uh, but as you can see, Alexander Graham Bell, Bell patented a device first in the U.S., but it was invented elsewhere, which is common. Bell began his research in 1874 and had financial backers who gave him the best business plan for bringing it to market. Uh, America is still known for its availability of capital to fund new ideas. In 1877-78, the first telephone line was constructed. So this was pretty quick. So he started work on it in 1874. The, he patented the first device two years later in 1876. And then one year after that was the first phone line. But here, here... <laughs> is the outstanding example of exponent. From the construction of the first phone line in 1877 to 78, three years later, almost 49,000 telephones were in use. This is 1880. And it was in 1885 that AT&T was formed, which dominated the telephone industry here in the United States. By 1900, there were nearly 600,000 phones in Bell's system. So this is 20 years after the first line. So it took 20 years for it to go from zero to 600,000. That's a long time for the technology to ramp up at the beginning, right? But then here's mind blown. So 600,000 in 1900. That number shot up to 2.2 million by 1905, 5.8 million by 1910. By 1915, the first transcontinental line was installed and then shortly thereafter there were tens of millions of phones. So this is exactly how exponential technologies work. They start out building very, very slowly 
for many years. And the example we talked about recently was LIDAR. LIDAR was at first invented back in the 1960s. Very similarly, AI was first conceptualized in the 50s, and the first attempt at a neural network was in 1960, but the first working neural network wasn't developed until between 2012 and 2015, so decades go by. In the case of the phone, in the case of AI, in the case of LIDAR, which is a affiliated exponential technology driving self-driving. But then a point is hit where the curve becomes exponential and adoption increases by millions very, very rapidly. Well, this is what is happening right now with AI. We are at the inflection point. I actually said that a year ago at the beginning of 2022, and there was ample evidence of that happening in 2022. What was that evidence? That evidence was dramatic advances in robotics driven by AI, dramatic, dramatic, dramatic advances in language recognition, dramatic advances in text to image. I'll do another video on that for Wednesday. Really dramatic advances in self-driving with level four starting to become technically feasible and level three self-driving broadly hitting the market with the launch of numerous commercial models. I mentioned the Ram truck commercial of the guy riding down the freeway with no hands on the steering wheel. Um, so we've hit level three. Level four is now in commercialization and regulatory approval, which is mandatory for level four, right? Uh, because the human driver is almost never involved. But all of these technologies had dramatic, dramatic advances in 2022. I just named a bunch of stuff that has huge impacts on every aspect of our lives. It's only going to speed up from there. 2023, we'll see new breakthroughs in applications of AI that are unprecedented. And the same is true of robotics. The same is true of self-driving. The same is true of text-to-image, uh, natural language processing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So huge, huge changes in very, very short periods of time coming. The world will be very, very different two years from today by January 1st, 2025. Broad adoption of a bunch of stuff that I just said. We are in the exponential phase of these technologies now where adoption will grow by millions of units across the world. So thanks so much for tuning in. Click those links. Keep following us. I really appreciate my subscribers and viewers, especially my subscribers. I had 500 subscribers on both YouTube and Facebook in 2022. I really appreciate that. We're going to push forward to 1,000. And then from there, lots of new things will be happening. So thanks so much for your support. I'm doing this for you guys to prepare you for a future that is radically different than this future. Take care. Have a great 2023. I wish you all a blessed year. Take care. Bye.